Today I'll be showing you how to do desktop sharing on Linux, and specifically with VNC. This is used if you want to access your main computer from another computer in another part of your house. And in this video, I'm not only going to be showing you how to connect the usual way, but also how to do it over SSH if you want to create a more secure connection because you're wanting to open it up to the internet, for example. So then instead of exposing your VNC server to the internet directly, which I would not recommend, then you could open your SSH server to the internet and then just tunnel through SSH to your VNC server. So now the first thing you need to do is install a VNC server. In this video, I'm gonna be using KRFB. So what you do is you just open up the application, enable desktop sharing, and then it'll give you your connection details, including your IP address and the password to connect. You can also use the remote desktop feature. If you're on vanilla Ubuntu, just go to settings, sharing, remote desktop, turn that on, and then check enable legacy VNC protocol. And then here you can make it so that way new connections must ask for access or require a password which is down here. All right, so now I've popped over to my Windows desktop. And now what you're gonna do in order to connect is use any VNC viewer. I'm using type VNC. And then what you do is just punch in your computer's IP address, and then it'll ask for the password, punch that in. And now if we come back to our Linux desktop here, we'll get this prompt. Here we have to accept the connection. And now, as we can see, now we are in our Linux desktop on our Windows computer. We can minimize this and open applications. Basically do everything that we could do on our Linux desktop. We can type here. But anyway, let's close out of this and stop the share by right clicking on this and then clicking disconnect. Or you can just uncheck enable desktop sharing, and now our share is stopped. And by the way, back in our type VNC, we can click on options here. And if you wanna get rid of those scroll bars on the right and bottom, just set your display scaling to auto, and you can toggle on and off full screen mode here. And by the way, if you want to get out of full screen mode after you've already established a connection, just press Control alt shift f and now you're out of full screen. And you can also disconnect from our VNC instance by closing out this here. Now, if you want to be able to access your desktop without confirming it on the host system, you just check off enable unattended access and then set a unattended access password. Now you will want this to be a strong password because with this, anyone on your network can gain access to your desktop without you having to actually let them in. So now this is it for the main portion of the video. If you want to connect to your desktop over SSH tunneling for a more secure connection, then you're gonna go in your terminal and run sudo apt install open SSH server. Now, I've already went and installed it. But now what you're gonna do from your other machine is it go into terminal or command prompt if you're on Windows and then do SSH L 5900 or whatever port your VNC server is running on. By default, it's 5900 and then colon your computer's IP address, colon 5900, and then your username on your computer that you're connecting to at your computer's IP address, and then enter, and then first time connecting over SSH, it'll ask you this question. You're gonna type yes, and then punch in your password, of course, on the computer that you're connecting to. And now you don't need to worry about this now, but what you do is you go into your VNC viewer and then 
for the IP address, you just type in localhost. And of course, if you've configured your VNC server to run on a different port, you're obviously not gonna go your IP address colon 5900. No, you're gonna go your VNC server port colon your computer's IP address colon your VNC server's port. But anyway, we're gonna connect to localhost, punch in the password, and now we're in. And by the way, if you're on the GNOME desktop and you wanted to use the MS RDP protocol that offers, you'll need a remote desktop viewer that supports the RDP protocol. For example, KRDC, which is actually a complement to KRFD. Just punch in your remote desktop's IP address, and then it'll ask you for the username and password listed here. Just show the password in order to see it or you can use the remote desktop connection application. And if you wanna to tunnel to your RDP server over SSH, it's pretty much the same command that we would use to tunnel to our VNC server over SSH, only instead of forwarding port 5900, you would forward port 3389. So the command would be SSH-L 3389, your computer's IP address, colon 3389, and then your username at your computer's IP address. And then in your remote desktop software, you would still punch in localhost for the IP address. And that's it for this video. Give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.